Hello everybody, welcome to my build guide for the upcoming event, The Gauntlet. This is the build I'm using for Endless Delve, Solo Cell Phone Hardcore. I've reached level 90, I might be, push, be pushing to 95, but I'm kind of limited to the time I have to play. Anyway, um, the build basically goes around by stacking a lot of the defenses, as you can see. 4.6k life with 2.2k energy shield and kept resistances with 13.3k armor. A lot of block chance so this is how we achieved that we're gonna jump to POB I made so I've kind of split it up starting up to mid game to mid game with couple of levels where we actually go for mana reservation nodes and then we have the end game um, the third curse is basically once you acquire the ring or you can manually cast it because the first two curses we are using in the blasphemy setup so everything around us will be cursed automatically so the build uses the tempest shield and feeble tempor temporal chains defiance banner and determination that's why we are so tanky it's a cold auto cultist it uses cold snap and vortex creeping frost is a very good option that i recommend for the gauntlet though and it's in the pob so, the POB itself, there is a note section here where I explain how to get through the first couple of acts, how to get your skill gems, how to get the wall cold snap, uh, items you need to focus on, just look it up a little bit, you, a couple of recipes as well. So yeah, pretty simple. So when it comes to Ascendancy, first take Malediction for additional curse for our Blasphemy setup, Void Beacon and frigid wake and at the end i will be taking profane bloom which is since we are cursing the whole screen with our blasphemy setup profane bloom is just amazing as soon as something dies just the whole screen will explode so that's really good so yeah the idea of this build is to have a build that can run around while still doing most of its damage or even all of its damage at the same time i don't want to be have be playing a build in the gauntlet that stays still when it deals damage and this build is basically very good at doing that. Oh, that's a nice base there. Um, as I said, nothing special about it. Just a normal Cold Auto Cultist, made to be a bit more tankier than it usually is. And with the ability of Crafting Bench, you will be able to get even more life, even more energy shield. I mean, you can probably go for like 5.5k life and maybe 4k or 3.5k energy shield at level 90 so that should be enough when it comes to boss killing it's going to depend on the items you have but cold auto cultist was always one of the best and like consistent boss killers in this game so i'm i don't think there is there is going to be an issue with that either but as you can see even at monster level 80 i'm not really taking any damage and everything is so slow it can't even get to you so yeah about that so that's how the build plays hopefully you enjoyed my guide and hopefully it's able to help you uh, reach your desired level or goal for the gauntlet so thank you all for watching if you like my content please consider subscribing um yeah stay safe in the gauntlet and good luck and have fun.